Ben's joining us again. How are you, mate? Hello, Julian. Nice to see you again. Expert mate. now right. on telly. You've done it lots of times. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, are you coming from a do-it-yourself background? Um, yeah. I mean, that's not my, you know, my professional is, 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 I'm not a DIY expert as such, but I like to sort of mess about in the house and hopefully that will sort of reflect and, you know, most other people are the same. So we're not a professional, we're a DIY enthusiast. We like, like to give it a go, don't we? Table. Yeah, we do. What are we talking about here? Let me give you the details straight away because they're on screen. $36.96, still at the introductory price. It's the Wolfcraft 559915. It's the circular saw guide rail system with the anti-slip base. I'm not quite sure what all that means. Okay. Put it into English for me. Let's what are we get looking straight. at? Basically, Julian, a circular saw is a great tool for cutting all sorts of large pieces of wood. Yes. Uh, fast, reliable, but even with the guides that come with most of the saws, it's very difficult to achieve a very straight line. This is where Wolfcraft come into it. Who are Wolfcraft? Wolfcraft are a German family-run business mm -hmm. um, introduced by Robert Wolf in 1949 and um, even after 60 years has been running as a family business. Right. They design, manufacture and all their own uh, tools for the DIY enthusiast. Good. What you get in this pack, Julian, is the 1.15 metre uh, rail system, which may not look like much right now, but you'll soon get the hang of it in a minute. What you do is, all we've done is clamped our worktop that we're going to cut today onto our bench. Yes. We're going to take a couple of inches off of this piece of worktop. Now, this comes with an anti-slip matting anyway, but you also get these brackets to secure it to the top that one you're on working either end? on. You take that one. I'll take At the this back one. Of the, where, this side here, you'll see that the, the bracket, it will fit in. That's it, straight underneath the worktop and clamp your piece down. OK? You get these in the pack, as we've said. And this is your universal cradle. Now, the only bit of setting up you've got to do with this, because I'm one of these people, if I want to buy a book, I'll buy a book. If I want to buy a tool, I want to get it out of the box and use it. I don't want an encyclopedia of instructions. <laughs> it's, true, it's true, isn't so it? So basically, you put this straight onto your rail system there. And the only bit of adjustment that you've got to do... Now, this, by the way, is a universal cradle, so and it will fit circulars. all UK-sold um, circular saws. Now, you clip your saw into your guide rail. Yes. And as I say, you just adjust these here to fit your circular saw. You have my goggles for this? I've got my own goggles, oh, thank well, you very much, mister. OK, it's like that, is it, Ben? You have my... I've got my own jewels. My <laughs> nickname is... My jewels are here, jewels. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're great goggles. <laughs> OK, so now you've got your line there. We're going to start, with, you know, with sawing this piece of wood. You haven't got to worry, the saw is going to work. Did you hear what I was saying whilst that saw was going? N no. Oh, it was next week's lottery numbers, but we won't worry about that Don't right now. Don't tell anyone else about those. Show. OK, let's take the saw off and the guide off. Now, the reason I'm doing this, Julian, is to so show you... So, what you could just see there, no longer do you have to try and follow a line. No, No longer do you have line to concentrate on the line. That's this right. This will determine where the line is. So you set this up when we've got no blades or sharp or nasses no, around. No, that's right, and just carry it on through. And carry it on through. What I want to show you... Brilliant. Just by sitting the piece that we've cut on top of the straight edge, you've ended up with a factory cut. Another thing I want to tell you is, usually, if you're cutting worktops, you cut them upside down. Because Why? of the breakouts. That's correct. Now, this system here... Do you want to you, Yes, it? please, if you don't mind, and take it off. And just slide it out the same that's way? That's it, and just put it there so we know where it is for later on. Thank you. If you look at the edge of this strip here now, you've got a proper factory cut. This is due to the anti-tear-out guide slip Ah, here. so that, that, That's right. that stops breakout? Absolutely. It'll, it'll help you stop breakout, and you've ended up with a proper factory cut. Now, there is a longer piece to this, you know, an extension uh, piece to this, which we'll come to a little bit later OK, on. yeah, we'll give you the details for that in a few moments from now, but at 36 96 everything you've seen so far, apart from the circular saw that's itself... That's right. You is get, in the pack. You get. There we can see at 36.96. Very, very quickly, can we just see, you mentioned there was a longer piece. There now we can see 559.915. And there's a circular saw guide rail system with the anti-slip base, 36.96. We'll show you uh, the extra piece in a few moments. OK, no problem at all. Would you like to do another cut? Do you want to have a go at cutting this, or do you want me to cut another one for you? What do you want to do? Ooh. Let's do another cut, just to show people how quick it is. I was going to say, I just didn't know how to set this up, and perhaps you'd have no taught problem. me through it. Tell Literally. me how to do it, then. OK, fine. 
You take it out of the pack, like we said. Yes. This comes to be assembled. Why is it not slipping anywhere? Do it's you not slipping because of the anti-slip. So um, we've got rubber rubberized on the sections yeah, on the bottom. It, that's right. But if it, it's still better to use the clamps that come with it. Obviously, yes. if you're cutting an expensive piece of wood, the last thing you want to do is do it twice, because at the end of the day, that's why you bought this thing in the first place. Measure twice, okay. cut once. That's right. Obviously, you've drawn the line exactly where you want to cut it. This is how quick it is to set it up. Julian, if you don't mind, do Not that once more. Thank you very, very much. OK, you're in. Indeed. Let's get the saw on. Just move your guide back. Right. That's how quick it is to put your saw into it. And we're ready to roll. Excellent. Let's utilise the extra minute. We mentioned we had an upsell. That's what we call them here at QVC. Okay. It means a product that would work in conjunction with the product we've just seen. There we've got the details on the screen, 36.96. 559915. So it's the Wolfcraft circular saw guide rail system with anti slip base. In addition, change the details to see at 2848. This is the Wolfcraft extension rail for circular saw guide rail. Explain why we'd need this, Ben. Please. Let me show you, mate. What we've cut right now is up to a one, you've got a 1.1 meter uh, cutting service, surface, Surf, sorry. Yes with the first item. Now, the extension piece will allow you to cut full-length shelves any size door. So if you're trimming a door or um, anything of, you know, longer sort of measurements than what we've got here, you're going to need the extension piece. So is the extension absolutely duplicating what we saw a few moments yep. ago, attach one to the other? That's correct. Great. Only difference being, let me just very, very quickly clamp this down to the work surface here. Thank you very much. If you turn this one upside down, which is the first one, this is your extension piece here. And what we've done is we've lost the Allen key. Um, <laughs> There's the Allen key. That's great. Excellent. Thank you. There's four little Allen key screws here. Just undo them. They slide along to That's the right. bar to attach both. Push the rail through. Two on either side. Tighten your first two up first. One. Two. Push it together firmly. Number three. On the final and one. Number four. Yep. Turn it round. Turn it over. Excellent. So now, when we had 1.2 meters, have we got 2.4 meters? No. Yes. 2.3 in actual fact. 2. It's 1. Point, well, yeah. Let's be um, exactly right here. Yes. It's it's 2.3 altogether. Thank you very very much. That's lovely. That's one. That's the other one. And this is the last 30 seconds of the No problem at all, Julian. Just give me a very, very few seconds. Here we go. Well, we may not get time to do a cut with this, but, but I'm sure the, you'll get the idea. You can see the idea. Once indeed. you've put your rail system straight onto here now, you're ready to take your circular saw all for way, a walk. Who all planned the way that? You or me? Uh, I think that was my fault. I'll take the blame. <laughs> and again, <laughs> okay. that must have been me. All okay, my one fault. for each. Right. For the Thank moment, you. It's, a, it's a pleasure working with Thank you. Thank you, mate, and yours, you yours too. Yours make me smile. And I'll see stay, you soon, hopefully. Stay with us for a few moments. 2848, there we can see the original. That at 3696. Universal for all circular saws, 559915, 3696, and we just saw the extension. We'll be back to complete this hour in a few moments now. Do you know when we're seeing you again, Ben? Uh, hopefully very soon. We'll count the seconds. Thank you, I look forward to it. Nice well, to talk to you. Thank you very much, Julian. All the best. Wish you well. Join us for one of Sunday's hot picks. Keep all your